Hello everyone, welcome to Embracing Mattress. This is going to be the weekly love reading for the sign of cancer. Thank you to everyone that's like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I appreciate you so much. If you've purchased a reading um, or if you need to purchase a reading, the information is in the box below. Um, just thank you so much for interacting with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the energy for this reading will it could be uh, masculine or feminine. could be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. And a cross watcher really is someone that just stumbled upon this video or searched it up just basically to look up information on someone that they have on their mind. And a cross watcher, if you do not have cancer in your chart or anyone with cancer around you and you stumbled across this video, Spirit just wants you to know that, yeah, just hang out. You may have a message, okay? So I have deception here, and I want you guys to look at this card because the deception tells me third party situation, okay? There is three people in this and a child. So this could be someone that someone has a child with, could be seeing someone else behind their back. Um, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. This person could be a very intuitive, nurturing lady. I see a feminine spirit here coming through. This person could also be very weak, be a follower. Uh, be very clueless, maybe, maybe naive, okay, with spirit of the dummy. This person may have um, envious ways about them. Be very discontent, miserable, resentful um, if they're doing anything for you. This person may be at a crossroads, not knowing which way to go, or maybe you are at a crossroads right now, not knowing which way to go, if this is a person that you want to deal with. And this could be a person from your past with this ghost uh, word here. Someone is moving forward, journey, relocation, moving on. Either someone is moving forward, someone is physically moving to a new location of some nature or moving forward away from this person. Someone could be changing residences, uh, occupations, jobs, and stuff of that nature. Okay, we do have the occupation card up here that breaks down to a seven. Um, the seven breaks down to a reflection, uh, assessment, and knowledge. Someone may be looking over this situation, trying to figure out what it is that they want to do. Ultimately, I see that someone is moving on. Someone's also in denial. We'll get to this card also. Because someone here is ruthless. They want things their own way. They want to have them at any cost. This is what they want. Someone here also may be very secretive. There may be some codependency going on. And someone may feel like someone has deceived them again. Deception twice on the deck. Uh-huh. So let's get to the message for this occupation card. Okay, so in the contents of a relationship, it may indicate the questioner is working on the relationship to overcome difficulties. So maybe you're trying to work out this situation with this person here before you move forward. Um, someone also could be have, could be working um, on their own business, some sort of craft, some sort of self-employment. That could be what you're moving forward to, to working for yourself. Working away from a nine to five environment for some of you. The denial card breaks down four plus one is five and this is conflict, change and instability, okay? See what the message is? Consider the weight for your highest good. You are not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith for if you wait and show patience Spirit will reveal some wondrous things later. This is a gentle warning not to get caught up in your desire to reach your goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit. Oh, I 
came and talked. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy. In this case, okay, spirit is the only one that can tell you when the time is ripe. Have patience. So someone wants to move something along here rather quickly. Spirit is saying no, okay? That things are not the way they seem. They may look very good to you right now. But wait for the divine to tell you what looks good, okay? And what and to show you what looks good. Now, when it comes to the devil card over here, okay, I have a devil and a ten of swords, all right? Now, the devil is a codependent relationship. This could be something that you're having with someone. There could be also addictions involved, all right? Um... It could be that the feelings are so intense between you and another person. You know, could be really, really deep sexual energy. Somebody could have Capricorn in their car in their chart. Um, addiction, enslavement, holding on to that which does not serve you. Okay. Stuck in a bad relationship or another situation. Anger, jealousy, resentment, self-delusion, selfishness, violence. You are to change your life, be courageous. You are making a bad choice. Okay? And now you could be being stifled by negativity. That's for some. The material world for this card for the devil is the playground, right? There could be depression, addictions, trapped, feeling trapped, feeling restricted. You have mental, physical, or emotional things that control you. Somebody could feel like they have no power here. Someone could feel like there's an illusion happening. Someone needs to know that they're in control of their own destiny. Don't give away your power to anyone and don't allow people to manipulate you. This could also be manipulation. Somebody may be having mental issues. And if that is the case, seek please seek uh, professional help. There could be, like I said, an immense sexual attachment or deep sexual craving that someone has for someone else here. If you are single, you may have an addiction to sex with random people, okay? Just trying to feel loved. Spiritually, you may be becoming too materialistic as a person. You may be holding back from moving forward, okay? Never allowing um, the light to take over the darkness in your life. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with depression or anxiety, surround yourself with a loving and supportive network. Try some sort of energy healing as well, right? You can go to YouTube and type in energy, energy frequency music and um, listen to that. It actually does work, okay? And repairing you from the inside out, energy-wise. When it comes to the Ten of Swords, okay? Somebody can have Gemini in their chart or be a Gemini. I'm thinking that someone is trying to end this. Someone's coming to an end with uh, of, uh, and trying to get away from this codependency. Someone's trying to get away from feeling like they need or are addicted to another person. With the number 10, this is an ending, of course, but it also is a new beginning, okay? So someone is trying to start anew, start afresh. And this is what we're seeing with this moving on card.
Okay, I also pulled two energy um, healing cards. You have Sapphire, Easy Does It, Your Health, Happiness, and Abundance Require a Gentle Approach to Life and Work. A couple other signs got this as well. The message for Sapphire, let me find that so that I can read it to you. One minute. I got too much stuff. Way too much stuff. All right, so for Sapphire, the angels send you this card because you've been pushing yourself past your limits with multitasking, rushing against deadlines and worrying about other people. You may have also overdone it socializing or partying in the nightlife. Now's the time to rest and a good detox can help recover your energy levels and health. This card is a reminder to stay in the present moment and tackle projects one at a time to avoid feeling overwhelmed. Perhaps you've overly focused upon the future, okay? Anticipating better times or worrying about what lies ahead. Someone could be here worrying and trying to put their, f their future into play right now by being a little pushy, trying to get things the way that they want them to be, being a little codependent. You are now guided to concentrate upon the here and the now so that you can enjoy your life, even if your current circumstances aren't what you want them to be. Someone may be looking to retire from a job as well. Someone may be looking to give up or need to give up a hobby that is no longer something that they should be doing, whatever that may be. You guys take it how it resonates. You also have Azerite, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from the past experiences. And you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. Again, we were hearing about that earlier with, you know, maybe somebody needed some, some professional assistance here. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. You know, everyone should try counseling because it really does help. So this is a positive card showing that you're ready to process and move on from painful experiences and trauma. Okay, again, with this moving on, right? This means that you're open to receive healing energy and insight. This may involve, you know, you going to appointments with a therapist or a healer or spending extra time in prayer or meditation. Okay, you want to detox from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influences that may be around you now. Let me get your Archangel card. Peace, Archangel Chamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. One more card for cancer, please. Okay, I said one more card and I get four. It's all right. Take your power. Take back your power, Archangel Razio. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Prosperity, Archangel Azria, Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Clear audience, Archangel Zedkio. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Pay attention, guys. Divine order, Archangel Raggio. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Remember I told you there was an illusion here. Clear, crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. This is your manifestations, whatever it is that you're trying to call into your life right now, whether it be for you, cancers or cancers cross watchers or the person that you're thinking of, put your manifestations together so that you can receive your blessings. Okay, this has been your message for the week. Uh, send love and light to all. You guys take care.